Hi everyone, I am going to be showing you how to roast spaghetti squash. It's actually one of those things that I tell people to make and they look at me like I'm crazy and they're like, what am I supposed to do with it? So, something very, very simple to use. So, the spaghetti squash, you're gonna cut it in half and I did a really bad job, but this is how it's gonna look. Spaghetti squash, you're gonna cut it in half and I've already scraped one, but this is how it's going to look before you scrape it. So you're gonna see, it's almost like a pumpkin um, without actually a hollow inside. And you're gonna take and you're gonna scrape it all out and just toss it away in the garbage or compost if you have compost. And then it's going to look like this. So this is what you're going to be making into like spaghetti squash noodles. So I personally like to roast it and I find that it really brings out the nutty flavor of spaghetti squash and really gives a better texture. Um, some people prefer to cut these in rings. So instead of, like I cut it lengthwise, so instead of cutting it that way, you would cut going down the spaghetti squash, but I always cut it this way, it's just the way I do it, and I'm gonna just keep doing it that way. So, but if you wanted to, some people do find that the strands are longer I feel like they're plenty long enough going this way. So this is the method that I choose to do. So I'm gonna show you how I like to season it and then I will also show you the after once I'm done with it. So this is what I like to do with the spaghetti squash. I take some olive oil and I just kind of drizzle it on and I usually take my brush and I just kind of base the oil onto the spaghetti squash and what this does is it i just like it because it makes it more even and i make sure i got it on everything so then you can see how nicely coated it is and this will also get my seasonings to stick all the way so then what i'll do is i usually have my pink salt and i'll just do some fresh pink himalayan salt on there I'll do a little bit of my fresh pepper. Look at that. I love fresh cracked pepper. Now you don't have to do any of these seasonings. You can do actually whatever you want. I do recommend at least olive oil and salt. Salt is uh, your friend, but um, you can technically do anything. If you want to do fresh herbs, you could do thyme, rosemary, basil. I mean, you're, the sky's the limit. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of granulated garlic though, and I don't I don't really know how much I use. It's more of a guess. I just kind of coat it until I think it looks good. All right. And that is how it looks once I season it. And this is my basic go-to every time I do spaghetti squash uh, seasoning. So I don't do anything different. So I'm gonna now do the other side, and then I'm gonna get it roasting. Okay, so my spaghetti squash is done, and as you can see, it is both beautifully seasoned. It's a little jagged. I probably could have cut this a little bit better, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect, so both sides are seasoned. So what I'm going to do is I am going to flip it over. So if you don't do this, it doesn't steam properly, and then you have problems later. So keep them down. And what you're going to do is you're gonna roast it like this for about 30 minutes or so. And then I flip it over for the last 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, depends on the squash. And I um, finish roasting it upside. So I turn it the other way and I roast it with the um, inside out look, to the top. Does that make sense? I hope it does, but that's what I do. So I'll show you and then I'm gonna stick this in the oven. So my oven's at 400 degrees, it's preheated and I'm gonna get this going. So my spaghetti squashes have finished in the oven for their 30 minutes, so now I'm gonna roast them. So this is how they're going to look. You're gonna see a little bit of browning on this edging. You're gonna see it's nice and steamy, but you're not gonna see it caramelized really in here. You're gonna wait for that when you do the roasting. So now we're gonna roast it for about 10 more minutes because now we've steamed it, so now it's cooked. But now we're gonna get that nuttiness into that spaghetti squash. So I'm gonna stick it back in and then you'll see it again in 10 minutes. Okay, so it has finished roasting um, upside for 10 minutes and I am going to show you what you want to see. 
So I take my fork and you see those strands that I'm getting? So your fork should be able to get these beautiful strands of spaghetti squash. And what makes, and you don't want it overdone because if it's overdone, it won't do this. But see how it's just pulling apart beautifully? This is what you want with your spaghetti squash because then you get these gorgeous looking strands. Ooh, sorry, steamed you. And this is going to be an awesome base for like whatever you want. I remember when I first started dating my husband, um, I made him spaghetti squash with Alfredo uh, bowls, like chicken Alfredo. And he literally looked at me like I was crazy. And then I made it and gave it to him. And he goes, oh my God, we're going to have to make this again. <laughs> so since then, spaghetti squash has been a fundamental part of our marriage, you can say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape out all of the spaghetti squash. And I'm going to put it in a nice bowl. And then I'm going to use it in my recipe. So stay tuned. Here are all of my beautiful strands of spaghetti squash. And... There is a lot here. So I don't know if you can see the bowl. It's pretty big. So I have scraped out the spaghetti squash and here we are. See, and this is how it's supposed to look. You want it slightly firm. That gives it that nutty texture. You do not want mush. So please, for the good Lord, do not mush it. Um, that's why I roast it because I find that I always get a better texture. So now for my recipe. Okay, here is the finished product, and here are my taste testers. All right, honey, how does it taste? It's horrible. It does not. Tell the truth. It's delicious. It's delicious. How does the spaghetti squash taste? I made that by eating the shrimp. Can you please take a bite? I swear to God, I'm never going to be able to do these videos. And? It's good. It's good? All right, and the kiddos have their plates. Juju, oh, you got spaghetti squash? And there's Zoe Bug. Wow, I can't believe it that big of a bite. How was it? Good. It's good. All right, time to dig in. So that is how you do spaghetti squash. And the recipe that I used is her shrimp and chorizo spaghetti squash bowl. And it's definitely got a kick to it. And I'm probably not gonna make it again for kids because it was a little bit spicy. But I did cut the spice in half and I thought that was plenty for us as adults. And it was really good, had a great flavor and my spaghetti squash was of course perfect. So if you guys want to be able to make uh, the exact recipe that I showed in my picture, I will post it to my video site or link or whatever you want to call it and you can make it. But thank you so much. As you can see, um, my husband hated his. Stay tuned and I'll post more recipes next time.